If you're just starting on YouTube or you are a small YouTube channel and you want your videos to run high in the YouTube search uh, results, uh, then this video is for you. Uh, welcome to Greek Osof, everybody. My name is Tam and today's video has nothing to do uh, with Greece. But as Greek Osof's channel is fairly, fairly new on YouTube as well, uh, I have decided to make this video because I have been talking to a lot of uh, uh, YouTubers that uh, have similar uh, issues in the sense that they have a fairly new channel and you want they want to increase the number of subscribers and views and especially to get their videos ranking high up on the YouTube search results. Uh, so this video is for you. Now, just to clarify, uh, I have not been sponsored by anyone or by any particular product. Uh, I'm not having any affiliates with the particular program that I'm going to be recommending you today and showing you. Uh, so all I'm doing is that I have been following this uh, particular program uh, and uh, this is why, because it is working, this is why I've decided to make this video. Uh, and the program I'm talking about is TubeBuddy. Um, I have put the links on the description below uh, and I'm going to be talking especially about TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer. It is a great tool to have if you want to find keywords, tags uh, and keyword sequences to use on your titles, on your descriptions, on your tags uh, in order to rank your videos high up. Uh, I have only been following this for the past uh, month or so and I have to say that I'm not an expert on YouTube or on SEO uh, or anything like that. Um, I'm just an, a normal person that has been watching hours and hours of uh, YouTube videos of experts uh, in trying to um, get as much experience as possible. But I've been trying it and have been testing it and I have even been making amends to previous videos that I have uploaded uh, on the Glycosophy channel and the results are really great in the sense that now every video that uh, Glycosophy has been uploading uh, appears in the top five videos on the particular search results that uh, we want them to feature. Okay then, um, this is basically the page of my channel, uh, Greekosophy channel. Uh, it has to do everything about Greece, uh, whether it's food, recipes, reviews, uh, travel, music, the lot. Um, and as you can see, uh, we're a fairly new channel. We only started in June this year. Uh, at the moment, we've got only uh, 69 subscribers. Um, and even though our Facebook uh, page has about 2,500 uh, followers and our Instagram page uh, another 1,500, um, we're still uh, fairly low on the subscriber number on YouTube. Um, but uh, as I said, a, about a month ago, I have started using the uh, TubeBuddy application uh, and uh, after spending a lot of hours uh, watching various videos from um, YouTube creators that have a lot more experience than I have, uh, I've put their recommendations to the uh, uh, test uh, and all of a sudden in the last 28 days um, after using uh, the, um, what I'm going to show you today, um, the every video basically uh, of Greekosophy is ranking in the top five or even uh, in the top ten or even top five uh, uh, lists uh, on the particular search on YouTube. Um, but let's begin with the TubeBuddy. This is basically once you um, uh, install the application, it's going to have this uh, icon over here. Uh, and once you click it, you have all these options. Uh, but today, uh, all I'm going to be uh, explaining is this uh, here, the Keyword Explorer. Um, I'm going to start start by giving you a little bit of a um, walk <laughs> around uh, this particular option. Uh, and then I will give you an example, a, a real-time example uh, for my new video as to how to search for the best keywords um, so let's start with a generic keyword. Um, let's try football because it's a very popular one. So you just add that and this is basically the Explorer I am window that opens up. Um, let me just uh, wait until it loads. Uh, right, uh, I will run through all these uh, words here just to try to explain to you uh, what they mean. Um, some of them I don't even know what they mean. <laughs> I'm still in the process of learning. Uh, I will 
only, you know, you, uh, there's here four options, summary, results, historical, and map. Um, at the moment, I'm only be going to be using the summary one. That's the only uh, one that uh, you need to be aware of. Um, this part is the important part because it gives you an overall score of the keyword football. And as you can see, it has a very low score, 10. And that is basically because there's millions and millions of uh, sites uh, that have to do with football, whether that's gaming, whether that's, you know, actual football, American football, um, you know, the lot. Um, the important part on this issue is the weighted and the unweighted sections. The unweighted section uh, gives you the generic score, uh, but the important section that you need to use is the weighted one, because this takes into consideration the SEO setups of your channel. Um, so uh, it gives you a much better uh, score uh, on whether your video uh, under this keyword will rank high or not. Um, I'm also paying attention to this here, this area score analysis. Uh, the search volume is basically, you know, how popular this keyword is on the search in YouTube. And, uh, you know, it's not a surprise that it has an excellent search volume. Uh, the competition, uh, and again, is weighted, uh, is, as the icon says, how good the keyword is uh, to target for your specific channel based on search volume, competition, relevancy, and how you compare to others currently ranking in search. Um, now, this may seem confusing here. It gives you a competition, uh, a weighted competition mark of poor. Uh, but I think what I have found out is that uh, that has to do with regards to your channel. So a poor competition doesn't mean that the word football you know, has a poor competition regarding to all the channels on YouTube. It actually means that there's a lot of competition and therefore the mark on the competition bar for your channel is poor. In other words, if you use just the word football, um, your channel has a poor ranking uh, chance. Uh, and the same is with the optimization strength which basically uh, it represents how well optimized the top ranking videos are for the search phrase. Uh, and again, if it's a poor uh, result, that means that the other channels are a lot more optimized in comparison to your channel. Uh, so these two bar bars, and I hope that I'm, you know, what I'm saying is the correct one, um, but after using it for, uh, for a bit now, I think I have got this part right. Uh, this bar, uh, this bar, show you um, represent basically the strength of your, of your channel um, compared to the other ones. Um, now, there's a few more uh, statistics here which I don't really, you know, follow personally. Uh, sort of uh, the number of search results returned from the YouTube from YouTube for this keyword. So as you can see, the keyword football has 8.1 million search um, results. So that is why it's a very uh, uh, popular word to use. Um, and basically, oh, and the monthly search is estimate 79 million, again, a, a lot. Um, on this side here, we have the related uh, keywords as well. Uh, so instead of football, basically, what uh, TubeBuddy uh, Keyword Explorer suggests is what about trying football highlights? or Football Live, or Football Fight 2020. So it gives you sort of suggestions that may improve this overall score here. Uh, on, on this field as well, apart from video searches, you have web searches and also video topics. Uh, and, and those basically are also some of the popular searches on YouTube, some of your popular searches on web, things like Google, for example. Um, but I personally, at the moment, I'm not really you know, looking on those, I'm concentrated on the video searches purely because I want my YouTube channel to um, grow more. And over here you have common video tags. Uh, so for um, channels that have used the word football as a, as a keyword uh, in their tags, these are also common tags uh, uh, that you can basically see. Uh, however, this is for me the most important part that I, I need to show you how it works. Um, basically, 
Uh, all I'm doing is uh, when I have an idea about a video, I will start with one keyword and see what the overall score is. And then I will try and play around with this particular keyword until I have exhausted all options. So for example, let's say my video is about um, learning, uh, you know, football training, you know, trading a team of people uh, with regards to football tactics. I may decide that football tactics may give me a better score. Um, let's see what um, the Keyword Explorer will say about that. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Again, a very poor score, as you can see. Um, so let's say Football Tactics UK. Uh, since my channel, let's say, is based in the UK, this may improve the ranking possibilities. Do, 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 apologies for the delay. No, even poor. Um, but uh, in, in the next, basically, uh, part of the video, I'm going to show you uh, a proper search, what I do with my videos, so I will be able to explain it in more detail. But in general terms, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find keywords or combination of keywords, in other words, a sentence with many words rather than just one, where the overall score will be at least 50 to 55 uh, over 100. Uh, and for my title, for the title of the video, I will try to have an overall score of 100. Um, you might find that it's difficult to achieve that, but that is not necessarily so. Uh, personally, I've never, f I've never failed yet to find uh, a combination of keywords with 100 as a score. Uh, but also, once I, find, once I find very good keywords, I make sure that the search volume bar does not fall on red. So I need my bar to be at least on yellow, uh, sorry, on orange or above. Uh, that means that, you know, the keyword is good and it gives me a fairly good number of search, re search results as well. Otherwise, there's no point of using a very good keyword if nobody's going to um, search for it on YouTube. Um, don't be afraid if you find a very good keyword with a good search volume result uh, that instead of having t millions and millions of um, results on the search, it has maybe a few hundred thousand. Uh, as a new uh, and as a small uh, YouTube channel, uh, it is very important to try and find as many people to watch your channel, but that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that you want millions of them. Um, it's the big guns, the big channels that are going to get the majority of uh, those people. Uh, so even if your niche or your particular video um, only gets about 100,000 search results for that keyword a month, that is still a pretty good number of, of people that you have a chance of uh, clicking and watching your video. Uh, so as long as the search volume um, is on orange and the um, overall score of the keyword is 50, 55 and above, uh, I'm quite happy to use it. Uh, if it's 100, I will definitely use it on my title. Uh, but that's all for me for now. I'm going to move to the next screen where I will show you in detail how I do my keyword search for every video that I plan to upload and or create and then upload on YouTube. Right, so uh, this week I have decided to make a video, uh, uh, a recipe uh, of a traditional Greek uh, cookie uh, that we eat in Christmas and it's called Melo Makarona. Now, most probably you've never heard of it, uh, trust me, it's very popular in Greece. So before I even decide what title I'm going to give to the video or exactly what I'm going to even say in the video. Uh, what I'm going, I'm going straight to YouTube. I can I hope you can see the cursor here. Uh, and I'm typing the keyword or the word Melo Macarona. And this is what YouTube brings up. Okay, so these are the, let's say, top videos for the keyword Melo Macarona. As you can see here, um, Akis Petrodzikis' channel, which is he's a very popular a Greek uh, guy that does recipes, 175,000 views, and the next one, 11,000 views, 113,000 views, uh, 1.6 million views. Uh, so my, let's say my, uh, what I'm trying to do now here is fiddle around with the keyword search and trying to find keywords that will bring my video amongst the top five or top ten videos right now on this particular uh, list that you see here. Now, uh, 
I have installed the TubeBuddy uh, application. Uh, so what you see here on the right hand side of my screen is the report that TubeBuddy gives me for this particular uh, keyword, Melo Macarena. And you can see that the search volume for this particular word is pretty good, uh, 128,000 um, searches per month. Uh, and the competition is very good. Um, and it also gives me an overall, um, let's say, number for this keyword, uh, 86 out of 100, which is a very, very good score, 86. And I do this particular search as well because I'm getting an idea of the thumbnails that the top videos have for this particular recipe. So as you can see, a lot of them have the actual cookies there. So maybe it will give me an idea to try something different that will strike uh, the people that are searching through these videos and, you know, different thumbnail to all of this might, you know, uh, make them click in there. So now that I've basically seen and I got a little bit of an idea what sort of the competition, let's say, uh, is doing, I'm going to go straight to the Keyword Explorer on TubeBuddy uh, and type up the Melu Macarena keyword. Okay, and press explore. Okay, and it will give me a score. Now, I have selected weighted score. What does, uh, as I said, what that means weighted is that it takes into consideration the setup of your channel and the, how good the SEO um, parameters are uh, compared to the competition. Uh, so always make sure that when you do your key, keyword search, um, you also you put weighted, uh, otherwise the results are going to be a bit misleading. So, for this particular uh, one, Melo Macarena, the overall score is 26, a fair score. Um, search volume is very good, the competition is not that uh, much, uh, and the optimization strength is good as well. Um, however, 26 for me is not a very good score that I'm going to use, alright? Uh, I want for my title of the video, definitely a 100% score. And for the remaining tags and keywords that I'm going to be using on the title or the description and the tags, a score of at least 50-55% and over. So basically, I'm going to keep on playing now with the Keyword Explorer. Um, already you, um, TubeBuddy has given me some suggestions here uh, based on the searches. Uh, for example, Melo Macarona, I don't know what that means. Uh, Melo Macarona Aki's video, I don't know that because that's the uh, the guy, the Greek guy that I told you about. Uh, Melo Macarona Greek recipes, so let's click that one. Uh, as I said, keyword doesn't mean that it's only going to be one word, it can be a whole sentence, uh, that doesn't matter at all. Uh, so already you see, by using Melo Macarona Greek recipes, the score has gone up to 35. However, the search volume is pretty poor. Ideally, I would like my search volume result to be from this orange uh, box here all the way up, uh, not the red one. So I would personally disregard this uh, keyword Melo Macarena Greek recipes as well. So let's let's try some other. Let's say how to make, which is a very common how to make you know something um, Melo Macarena, uh, and let's see. Uh, what brings up. Sorry about the slowness of my computer. So again, a fair score, 29 only, poor here as well. So I'm just going to disregard that. Now, as I said, Melo Macarena is a Christmas uh, cookie in Greece. So let me try and see whether I can have um, Christmas recipes, for example, as the keyword, not even include the Melo Macarena. very poor score so I'm not even bother do that but here it gives me a suggestion Christmas recipes easy so let's see what this will bring searching 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 so already by just adding the word easy after Christmas recipes the score has gone high so, so again, it's a fair score, 31, but as you, as you can see, the search volume as well is pretty good, 119 million um, searches. 
Um, let's try something else as well. Let's say Greek Christmas recipes. Because after all, I have a Greek channel with Greek recipes. So this is a Greek Christmas recipe. So let's see if this keyword uh, brings up a better score. Right, a very poor score. A lot, as you can see, an excellent search volume. Um, a lot of competition, 4.2 million. Uh, there's no way that if I use that particular keyword, uh, I'm going to be seen anywhere near the top. But let's see if by changing the word recipes to recipe, just taking that final S, so if it makes any difference, uh, believe it or not, even just uh, making it from plural, changing it, uh, it's going to sometimes... And <laughs> you can see here, by using Greek Christmas recipe, instead of recipes, the score overall is already 59. And look at that, the search volume is still excellent. A lot of people are looking for the keyword Chris, uh, Greek Christmas recipe. Uh, the combination is not very good, so I can get in there, let's put it this way. Um, my channel's optimization strength is pretty good with regards to this. Uh, so, this is definitely a keyword that I'm going to be using in my tags and in my description. Okay, and again, make sure that you use the exact words. As you saw, don't, don't use recipes, use recipe. And also, Christmas, keep it written as thus, as this. Because, let's try that. Because now that I find a good keyword, maybe this keyword as well will bring me a very good result. Let's see. Now, as you can see, this is a very good result. So, stick to Christmas, written like that. But this is a good start. Now I have three words uh, and a keyword Chris, Greek Christmas recipe that has given me a score of 59. So it gives me an opportunity now to start playing with this combination to try and see if I can get to a score of 100. Uh, and if I manage to find something, uh, then I'm definitely going to use that as my title. So we've got Greek Christmas recipes. Let's see if the word easy at the front will improve the score. No, it definitely does not improve it. But that, does, that doesn't mean that I'm going to, you know, forget about the word easy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play around with this word as well and with this word. So I'm going to try easy Greek Christmas recipes first and then easy Greek and then the whole word Christmas and then again the other two words. But let's try this one first. Instead of recipe, recipes. <laughs> Boom. As you can see, I've got a score of 100. So that is definitely going to be my title. Now, when I say my title, I don't mean that I'm going to say just Easy Greek Christmas Recipes and that's it, my whole title. No, I'm going to say Easy Greek Christmas Recipes, then most probably Mellow Macarona uh, or, or something else. Or some, add some other words or keywords as well that's called high. But I'm definitely going to have this at the start of the title because that gives me 100. And as you can see, very impressive results here as well. The search volume is excellent. The competition is quite fair, very good competition, but my channel's optimization strength is very good. 3.1 million there. Uh, so that is a definitely uh, a definite indication that I'm going to be using these this keyword on my title, on my description, and also on my tags list. And also, um, I don't know if I, I said that before, also, when you upload your video, before you even upload it on YouTube, make sure that you change the file name of your video to your best keyword. So, for example, you know, say you save something, you know, some people save it video 1, video 2, or episode 1, or episode 2. Don't do that, because YouTube, when you upload your video, starts searching for clues as to where to put it on the list, uh, even by the name you've given it. So for me, right now, when I upload my video, or before I do that, I'm going to change its file name to Easy Greek, Greek Christmas Recipes. Uh, and maybe add Melo Macarona as well, 
so YouTube knows that it's about Milo Macarena because that will definitely show this excellent keyword on my file name, on my title, on my description and on my tags. Uh, it's the four places that YouTube uh, looks for and if it sees it there, it will definitely uh, take my video up the list. But that doesn't mean that because I found an excellent score, that's it for me. No, now I need to find out all the other keywords of 55% and over that I'm going to be using on my tags and my descriptions. Why? Because I have about 500 characters um, worth of tags to add. So the more successful tags like this I add to my video, then the more YouTube is going to be showing in results, in, results, in searches, etc. So let's see, I mean, from, uh, from previous experience on my other videos, because I don't want to be, you know, stuck here for hours and hours. I normally spend about an hour doing the searches. Uh, something other, for example, Greek Christmas, oops, sorry about that. Greek Christmas treats. Okay, there we go. Let's see what this will bring. So as you can see there, a very good score, 77, that is a very good score as well. The search volume is not as high as the previous keyword, but still, it's still within the orange, let's say, minimum limit. Uh, and as you can see, plenty of searches as well, an excellent optimization. So this is definitely another keyword, Christmas, uh, Greek Christmas treats, that I'm going to be using. Also, when I'm talking in my video, because I'm also doing... Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm also changing the automated subtitles, the English subtitles on my videos. I also make sure that I make, uh, you know, the subtitles uh, correct. Uh, and therefore, this is another place where YouTube will be searching around for the keywords. I will make sure, therefore, in my video, I'm going to use that keyword as well, Greek Christmas treats, uh, to make sure that this is another place for YouTube to, to, make, to, to, to put my video uh, higher on the list. So I'm taking my pen down and I'm noting this one as well. And you can see already that even though I started with the word Melo Macarona, it doesn't necessarily mean that my video is going to concentrate only on that word. I want my video and my titles and descriptions to follow the higher ranking keywords. Why? Because Melo Macarona most probably will have a, a search of 20 million uh, and therefore I'm going to be lost in all the big guns. Uh, of, of channels that exist out there uh, but if I use these keywords I have a very very good chance uh, even with let's say a million results rather than 20 millions I'm a small channel I don't really mind to have only 2 million searches uh, all I want is you know a few hundred or a few thousand people to look at the video and hopefully subscribe and view it uh, so you know Basically, it changes the whole concept of what your video will be. The video will still be the recipe about Melo Macarona, but what you're going to be saying in the videos is making sure that you use those keywords. So if I speak, hello, uh, today I'm going to show you a Greek Christmas treat, or let's say that Melo Macarona is one of the best Greek Christmas treats. Uh, and there you have it, 77% of that. Uh, add that to my description as well. And that will um, certainly make uh, a very good, let's say, uh, chance for my uh, video to rank within the ten uh, top ten videos. Um, let's see something. Uh, you know, you know. I'm, I'm not going to keep you for uh, for longer. Um, I'm just going to try something else as well. Let's say because the word homemade sometimes for recipes. It is a homemade recipe. I'm going to make it at home, so I'm not basically um, give anything misleading. Uh, let's say homemade um, uh, Christmas recipe. Let's see how much that will give. Come on, come on, come on. No, a very poor result. Uh, let's see, because the treats gave uh, homemade treats, because the word treats gave a very good result before. So. No, that is a very, very, very poor, poor, poor result. Uh, let's see, homemade treat. No, 
so <laughs> definitely uh, the word treat is not going to bring any results. Um, now, another thing, uh, obviously it's a Greek channel, so sometimes I will find out that if I write in Greek, so this is the Greek, let's say, writing of the word melomakarana, because there are a lot of Greek people as well around the world that uh, would like to see the recipe. That doesn't mean that uh, I only have to rate. So, again, very poor. Uh, but let's put a tone, because when we write this word in Greek, we also use a tone above this particular letter. Let's see if this improves. No, still poor. So forget the Greek word either. Um, but I'm not going to keep you um, for, for, for long. Uh, basically, you see pretty much what I have done here uh, in order to find the best keywords for my video to use uh, in order to give it uh, maybe a top 5, a top 10 um, position in the results. Um, now, I'm going to spend, obviously, a, a, few, a bit more time to get all the keywords that I need. Now, sometimes, unfortunately, you're not going to manage to find all your keywords to be above 50 or 55% score. That's fine. Uh, what to do is, for every single word search or a single keyword that I search, I note down the exact keyword and the score, and the score in, in let's say, a piece of paper. Uh, so I start, obviously, with my 100%, and move all the way down to the 50-55%. And if I still have some space on my tags um, in my video, uh, then I will start again moving to the next best. So I will move to the 50%, then to the 49% score, to the 48%, and I will use up all my 500 characters on my tags. Uh, I'll do that all the time. So again, it doesn't necessarily mean that every single keyword, keyword of yours is going to have a score of 50-55% or over, ideally try and do that. But again, if after an hour, an hour and a half that you spend on the Keyword Explorer, uh, you only find a few of them, uh, at least you have some uh, that will give you uh, a score, let's say 40-45%, 35%, a fair score, let's put it this way, uh, and you can use them. Uh, but this is basically, uh, I hope you understood the, the position. Uh, also, I don't really care about the web, the, the web searches um, because unless you're a big channel, it is very difficult uh, when somebody searches you on Google uh, for your actual YouTube video to feature at the top of the search. Very, very extremely difficult, if not impossible. So all my searches are focused on getting the results on YouTube, not on Google, on YouTube. Um, uh, at the end of the day, you want the people to go to your YouTube channel, uh, sorry, to go to YouTube and search for them um, and come up on the top 5, top 10 of the videos. Uh, so, as I said, I'm noting down on my keywords now, so I've seen what people have as the um, thumbnails. So, provided that I make a very good thumbnail that sort of sticks out amongst these, uh, I have a very, very good chance, not only being on the top 5 ton tap, uh, or top 10 of those videos but also to for somebody to click directly uh, and maybe have another subscriber so i hope it makes sense okay guys uh, i have just uploaded the uh, video on melo macarena that i was showing you uh, about a couple of hours ago uh, i wanted to show you how i edited the whole details for the video uh, using the keywords uh, that I found. Uh, unfortunately, the household today was a little bit uh, <laughs> crowded and um, loud. Uh, so I'm just showing it to you now. So I've gone basically to my video details. And if you remember from previously, I found out that the combination, the keyword combination, Easy Greek Christmas Recipes, was giving me a 100% um, um, basically score. Uh, so therefore, the first thing I did was I definitely started my title uh, with this combination. Uh, and then followed that with Melo Macarona, because that is the name of the cookies on the recipe. And I ended the title with Greek food you can make at home. Uh, the reason I did that is that in previous recipe videos, when I was looking for keywords, I discovered that this combination, Greek food you can make at home, was also giving me a 100% score. Uh, and what I did then was I had about four other recipe videos at the time. 
Uh, I've changed the title and started with this phrase, Greek food you can make at home, and then the name of the actual uh, dish. Uh, and that really uh, shot my recipe videos uh, up high in the YouTube uh, search results. Um, however, uh, this phrase uh, now, because there, obviously there's so many videos uh, under this uh, search, um, uh, is down to maybe about 70%. Uh, so what I have decided to do is I'm going to use this one uh, for now, that gives me 100%. And after Christmas, when uh, people are not, are not going to be that interesting in Christmas recipe, recipes, I'm going to change the title and move this one at the front to say Greek food you can make at home and then Meloma Karana. Uh, because I find it that since this phrase was giving me very good search results, I'm going to keep it as the main title of all my recipes, uh, followed by the name of the particular dish. Um, now, something else that uh, I wasn't planning to show you, but I think it's part of the keyword search as well uh, on Tube Tubby. Uh, on, um, sorry, a Tube um, Tube Tubby? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just going to click here for two seconds. Right. Oops. Uh, apart from the Keyword Explorer, uh, what I also use is the SCO Studio. But let me just, first of all, go back here and edit this particular... Sorry, copy this particular paragraph and I'll show you in a minute why. That's why I wanted to do it live uh, before but didn't have the opportunity because it was going to be extremely loud. So, uh, going to SEO. Okay, so SEO Studio. Now, what SEO Studio does uh, once you found a, a very good keyword or keyword combination, um, it's going to give you uh, an indication as to how best to write your title and your description of your video um, in order to score as high as possible in the rankings. So let me do my uh, keyword sentence. Easy Greek Christmas recipes. It's already pretty populated there. Eh? Okay, let's start. Oh, it's... Uh, yes, sorry. Um, it has already copied my entire description. Uh, but let me just take that out for a minute. Um, okay. Let me just take that out for a minute. Right, let's say that I'm doing my video now. I'm doing the description now. Okay. Uh, so... Easy Greek Christmas Recipes was the description or the keyword combination that was giving me 100% results. Uh, plus, adding the Melo Macarena and the Greek food you can make at home, the SEO score at the moment is giving me 70%. Why? Because I have included my target keyword in the title. There it is. I have included 80% of my target keyword in the title. Uh, well, I have included 100%, so I don't know why I say suddenly. I've included my target keyword in the first 60 characters of the title, which is very important. Uh, and I've included my target keyword naturally in the title. This is another thing as well that you have to be careful of YouTube. You have to use your keyword in a natural way. Uh, so if, you're, let's say, your word is uh, football, um, you cannot write football, football, football three times in a row in your title and expect YouTube not to do anything about it. Um, its algorithm will actually um, score you lower because it's not in a natural way. So you can say, for example, football review or everything you want to know about football or something like that, something to flow naturally. So at the moment, it's, it's telling me that what I haven't done yet is in my description. So I have to include my target keyword in the first 200 characters of the description and I have to include partial matches of my target word as well in the description. So... Obviously, I was fiddling around with the description, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy the first paragraph because uh, that's what happened. So basically, if I had started Easy Greek Christmas Recipes in a description, it doesn't actually flow naturally. Uh, so maybe YouTube would have picked up on that. So what I've done basically is something common. You know, Melo Macarena is possibly the most popular Christmas so here's part of the keyword already, cooking Greece. You won't find a Greek home, again, the part of the keyword here, without Melo Macarena during Christmas. Christmas again. 
It's one of the easy Greek Christmas recipes you can follow. So there you go, a, a way of incorporating the whole sequence into your description. And because I've done that within the first 200 um, uh, uh, sorry, characters, uh, I have now scored a 100% SEO score. So this is what we should all be aiming to score with our videos, 100% score. It will definitely give you a very good chance. So I personally don't go, uh, I'm not continue to be using SEO score after this. All I, need, all I was interested about is the first 200 characters. I've now found the combination of sentences to give me the perfect score. So I'm just going to go there, copy it in my description, uh, and then I can go ahead and write whatever else uh, I, I want to write. Um, you know, any links to my other social media, um, any accreditations to any music that I'm using, and footage, etc., etc. Uh, so after I've done the description and the title, which I know they're going to give me 100%, then I'm going ahead to put my tags. Uh, as I said, another very important part. Now, I have put the tags that have scored me the, the best um, scores on the keyword search. Now, these green numbers that you see here, uh, you're only going to have them once you actually publish your video. Uh, and what they show you these numbers is your ranking for this particular for this particular keyword. So that means, for example, that if somebody searches Greek food you can make at home, my video is going to be second on the list of videos uh, that are going to come up on YouTube for this search. Uh, so as you can see, uh, quite a lot of second and first places for my video, which is what really you want to be doing with your tags. Uh, so you're using these tags in your description, you're using these tags in your, uh, sorry, your keywords in your tags, in your description, in your title, um, and uh, you, you can do it. Another thing that is very important, and I found out it helps a lot, is if you end all your tag tags um, with this particular tag here, YT uh, up and down dot, I don't know how you call it in, in, in English, then CC equals on. Uh, and I found a very useful video on YouTube about that. What that me means is that if somebody uh, plays your video, let's say on your Facebook, on their Facebook, uh, on their Instagram or any social media, it's going to bring up the subtitles automatically. Uh, for example, a lot of people watch videos when they're on a, a bus or on a train or uh, in, in, in an area where they don't want to have the sound on. What this will do is regardless as to whether they have chosen not to see subtitles or not, it will initially start with the sub subtitles of your video or the captions of your video on. And according to statistics, uh, videos that actually show those captions and um, subtitles on all the time have a much more chance of being viewed for longer and longer. So here's another very good tip. Uh, once you do your tags, make sure that the last tag of them is this one here. Um, and these are other helps as well uh, with the tube, uh, um, tube body, uh, but I'm not going to uh, give you any more. I'm going to concentrate on the keywords. Uh, also, again, part of the keywords, um, this is the file name of the file of my video that I uploaded. And as I said previously, make sure before you upload it on YouTube that you change the file name to match your 100% scored uh, keyword sequence. So this Easy Greek Christmas recipes, as you can see, I've put that on the title. Each word uh, separated by a dash, uh, and then the word below Macarena, and that means that YouTube, the minute I uploaded this video and searches for the title, it's also going to score high me on that. Um, I'm not going to go with the places after. I'm, I'm sure that um, uh, you've you've done that. But what I'm going to say you now, it's, it's only been two hours uh, since um, I uploaded this video. And I'm just going to go straight to YouTube just to give you an idea now as to how my videos score or appear on YouTube as we speak. Uh, so I'm just going to pick up, first of all, the uh, Easy Greek Christmas Recipes, uh, which obviously scored the 100%. Uh, so I'm now in general YouTube mode. Sorry again for my computer, which is very, very slow. Uh, okay, so, easy Greek Christmas recipes. 
Um, do, 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 waiting. There we go. And as you can see, it's only three hours ago, and it's number one. It's coming up number one for this particular search. Uh, second is <laughs> Akis's website with 170,000 uh, views, followed by 11,000 views, followed by 2,000 views, 9,000 views, 436, etc. But as you can see, my video with just 12 views only, uh, uploaded three hours ago, is topping the list. And if you thought that Easy Greek Christmas Recipes is not going to be a popular search, you are wrong. Uh, because this particular search is excellent, as you can see, for this particular word. It, it includes the word Christmas, the word Greek, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, keyword stars, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, it doesn't give me, unfortunately, the number of searches, but it has an excellent score. Uh, but let's look another one as well, um, in where I'm topping. Uh, let's see. Uh, Greek Christmas treats, okay? So... Greek Christmas treats. As you can see, number one as well. Uh, again, followed by 2.3 thousand views, 11 thousand views, 4.8 million views, 6.4 million views, 2.1 million views. As you can see, <laughs> I have jumped ahead of all those very popular videos to number one. Uh, the search volume, Greek Christmas trees, is not necessarily very popular, but it still has a very fair result. Uh, still, a lot of people uh, are, are searching uh, for this particular um, for this particular videos. Um, just trying to see any other ones that uh, yes, Greek food you can make at home. Remember that. title that I'll tell you about my uh, Greek recipe videos. Um, okay, so the first one, I'm second on the list here now. Uh, first of one is from All Recipes, very popular website with 32,000. But as you can see, out of the top three videos, two of mine <laughs> uh, are in the top three with 12 views and only 157 views. Okay, then followed by 775,000 views, 90,000 views, 400,000 views, and I'm pretty sure I have another one uh, on my, oh, sorry, on the top 10. There you go. Another one of my videos in the top 10 three. Uh, and then another one again. Uh, so four videos in the first, uh, I think, 12. 12 or 13 videos. Four videos of mine are in the top 13. Uh, so you can see with very few views, with very few subscribers, I've only got 69 uh, subscribers, uh, I am hitting the top three uh, lists on YouTube search in quite good uh, search volumes and search uh, keywords. Um, so as you can see, uh, is it's other key searches as well that are bringing me um, uh, very good results. Um, and if this hasn't persuaded you, uh, if you thought that, for example, this particular video uh, shows so high only th with only three hours there because it's a fairly new. Um, I'm going to go to uh, another one of my videos that uh, has brought me uh, a lot of success. Uh, it was about Greek wine. Uh, I've made one one hour long video about Greek wines and I made a second video uh, that I narrowed down basically the basic information of that video down to 15 minutes and then I made a third video about Greek wines you can find, uh, award winning Greek wines you can find uh, for under 12 pounds. Uh, but if I go into the Greek wines search, it is a very generic search, okay? As you can see, uh, you will not find any of mine in the top 12. There it is. This is the hour-long video with only 92 views, uh, but it's not, uh, it's not there. However, the 100% title that brought me success with this video is the Greek wines you must try this Christmas. So, Greek wines you must try this Christmas. Um, and as you can see, wow, <laughs> okay, so top two. Actually, all of the top three videos are mine. I don't know why it's brought <laughs> the Milo Macarna recipe. Uh, and then followed by a video of 596, followed by 4 million, 
and 29k to Nigella Lawson's video uh, following uh, 382,000. So you can see a lot, a lot, a lot of, of videos there. A couple of things before I go. Um, make sure that once you've mastered the techniques that I've shown you today, uh, you go back to your older videos and you change them. You change the tags, the description, even the title if you want. Uh, and believe me, uh, that means that their ranking is going to improve a lot. I have done that with all the previous videos uh, from Greekosophy and their rankings have improved. And the second tip is that make sure that your thumbnails uh, have something in them that identify your channel, that your specific channel, to viewers that most probably don't know about it. For example, if you notice on all the thumbnails of the Greekosophy channel, there is this Greekosophy uh, logo um, on the left hand side of the thumbnail. Uh, when I first started uploading videos, I never used a logo or anything like that. But after following uh, a few advice from uh, more experts uh, on the subject, uh, I have decided to put the logo there because somebody that watches one of your videos and liked it, then he can easily identify by just looking a list of videos which video comes from your channel. And therefore, if you liked one of your videos, he is more likely to tick and click uh, on that next video uh, because they know that it's from you. Um, otherwise, if it's just a video or a thumbnail among other videos, unless they look into more detail in it, they are not to know if it's from your channel or not. Uh, so whether it's a logo that you want to put or, or the coloring um, sequence or something that identifies with the first look that the video is from your channel, uh, it is a very good way of creating a, an attractive way of creating attention to your videos. And this is basically it uh, for this video. I hope that what I've showed you, it's quite clear. If you don't understand anything or you want me to clarify something, please put uh, some comments in the comments below and I would be happy to respond, especially if I know the answer. Again, if you like this video, press the like button, leave a comment. If you follow or if you're a subscriber of the Greekosophy channel, uh, the future videos will revert back to uh, Greek-oriented uh, videos. If you like this video, I cannot promise you that the Greekosophy channel will be posting more videos with regards to uh, YouTube SEO and keyword searches purely because the channel has to do with Greece. Uh, but that does not mean that if uh, in the future I find some other ways of uh, improving or growing the channel, uh, the possibility is that most probably I will put up another video uh, just so uh, all of you that are trying to get some growth in their channels uh, can learn from it as well. So thank you very, very much for watching. If you liked and you would like to subscribe, feel free to press the subscribe button uh, or let your friends know about this video. And thank you very much and have a lovely day.